Disclaimer, this video will contain a lot of swearing. Please refrain your children from watching and listening to this video. Viewer and audio discretion is advised. All right, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Camping Modded Survival. This is going to be probably one of the craziest ones I've ever experienced. And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of perplexed myself. And there's a reason for that. One, so I was just uh, doing shit off camera just to make sure I have all the wood and stuff and uh, make sure everything was uh, all set. Now, the th funniest thing started to happen to me. So, it rained, right? And I didn't know it was night. The skeleton started to come over. And then, here's the funny part. Tell me why I see a zombie that is full of emerald armor. I did not think that the mod would change that much to the point where they're going to give them the full armor set. That's nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. So, I, as you guys can probably see, look, I'm not even joking. They literally gave them the emerald set. And I was just so perplexed. And I had to make sure they got away from me as fast as they could. So I was, I was just, I was just very, very, very lucky I was able to survive that. Now there was two creepers over here. Obviously, one of them exploded behind me because I didn't see that one, and then the other one just literally just decided to come after me. Now, if you guys remember from last time, I did mention that the mod survival pack do tend to bug due to the fact that um, the mob spawning d tends to turn off on its own. It has its own problems and here and there so um, I'm lucky that I managed to survive that part because what happened was is that I basically had to fight a bunch of zombies and I fell into the cave by mistake and that was just pretty bad on my end so I just had to be super careful but nevertheless uh, since we're talking about the cave right now uh, we're gonna be heading in uh, in about a few right now I need to actually get some iron and that means grabbing the iron from there now What I need is a shovel and a shovel is definitely important in this situation. So let us grab ourselves a shovel um, We also need our stone because I'm not gonna use the iron that we have because I'm um, trying to save up um once we have enough emeralds, I can actually um, make more, but as far as anything, I don't want to actually like perplex it way too much. Um, I'm going to use this sword. Now, I used the dagger. It has less damage than the other ones, and I realized that, yeah, it has less damage than the other ones, so I'm not going to really like question it all the way. But um, it does do some type of damage, but it takes like five, almost six hits to get a creeper done. It's almost a similar damage as a stone sword. So, of course, I'm going to have to be very, very mindful of the fact that that's just not going to work. Um, so I got myself a, I got myself a sword. I'm going to get myself another pickaxe because I need to actually... Uh, well, not another pickaxe. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Another, get a shovel because I was... <sighs> You can see I'm all over the fucking place right now. Um, in case anyone hasn't noticed, I just fucking woke up and had a lot to deal with. And um, so now I'm just trying to just get a recording done and then hopefully, hopefully have everything set. Now, that just scared the sh absolute. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think the. Mo oh, yep, yeah, right here. Okay, so I need to grab the iron right here. And uh, as soon as I grab it, I'm gonna go a little deeper. And uh, once I go a little bit deeper, we go. We're gonna grab some more iron. Hopefully, there is more iron down here. I haven't checked the. Like I said, I haven't checked the caves yet. So we're going a bit in depth with it. So, um, so there's coal down there. So let me jump to this water, reset, and then we should be good. And then there's iron right there. So good to know. Good to know. So. We have a little bit here, and then the coal is like right under me, I think. So, yeah, the coal's like right under me. So I can grab that real quick. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, the skeletons and stuff pretty much uh, fell and died. I didn't need to worry about that, so that's a good thing. Um, um, that baby zombie was after me though, but uh, I should have been fine from there. Um, now I need to mine over, I need to actually build over there cause I need to grab that particular ore. And since it's gotten bigger down here, I'm gonna have to, 
I have to be super careful with uh, how I do things out here. So I'm going to switch my sword to the iron um, because just in case I get attacked again, got to be super careful with that. Oh, crap. I'm hoping it doesn't spread. But just to be on the safe side, where's the iron at? Down there. Okay, good. I don't need to worry about trying to mine through the lava just to get to it. Okay. Um, so let us grab this. Yep. As you guys can probably tell, yeah, this is a really, really big, big spot. Ravines and everything. And it gets bigger on the other side. So, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh shit. <laughs> I thought that, I thought that was, uh, gonna drop me completely. <laughs> Never mind, it didn't. Um, alright, so I think we got about seven of these when we were just coming down here so nothing too serious so that's cool we're making progress with this one and also i uh i remember from the last episode i remember that we actually can mine red, we can actually use redstone as tools for this and it actually makes it a little more easier should have actually done that by the way my bad <laughs> i forgot to actually um turn that off when I was uh, gonna do recordings oh shit you son of a bitch <laughs> good lord okay 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 let's uh, go right here should be clear from here what what why does anyone not hear anything is that the warden? Oh, because again, I haven't met the warden yet. So if he's down here, I'm, I might be in a bad situation. Bitch, bitch, come here. If the warden's here, I'm fucked. I can't, I can't go near that son of a bitch. Oh my God, if he goes in, because I'm hoping he's, if that means he's here, that means he's definitely down below. And I just don't want to deal with him right now. And it's already a bad sign, because now, now I gotta worry about this whole shenanigans and shit. And also, by the way, that means if the um, floor and the rest of the uh, caves get bigger, that means there's gonna be more gravel traps as well. So I have to be very, very, very mindful of that. Uh, so. Let's uh, let's just hope I don't actually run into those issues. Cause if I do, I'm I'm gonna be having some serious, serious, serious problems. So I should be fine though. Um, but nevertheless, let's head back up. Cause we're gonna go over here, uh, and we're gonna grab some of the stuff that we actually need. Cause what we're gonna do now is we're gonna smelt this. And have these potatoes to do, do, do. and smelt these. And since we have like 25 of these, we can make full armor, and we should be able to be good to head down there. Now, um, my only ooh, is that what the thunder hit the other day? Oh, so I don't think I ever told y'all, but um, so the thunder hit something. I don't know what hit it, but I I'm guessing it hit a tree. I didn't think it was gonna hit a tree. Oh wow, that's crazy. But um, but um, anyway, let's head back and uh, get back to it. And uh, we're gonna head to sleep real quick because uh, it's gonna be nighttime in a bit. And um, right now, I'm gonna actually, as this is gonna be smelting, I'm gonna actually go and um, have this place uh, fenced off uh, for defense because I realize that we have so much. Uh, to deal with and since like so many of them were just spawning r randomly out of nowhere I have to be super careful with the creeper and literally there was like two creepers there and I didn't notice So we're gonna have to focus on that nevertheless um, um, I don't I know um, if any of y'all are gonna be complaining about the fact that uh, I Need to um, literally put that down don't worry um i'll do that the next episode i just forgot to do that when i was um it's because like i said i literally just woke up so um <laughs> i just thought hey let's record and get everything else done today <laughs> that's literally my mindset um but yeah let's uh, start getting the fences ready uh because we need some fences so 
Uh, we need some sticks for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have. Uh, 54. 64 stacks into 20. Not bad. Um, so you also know what that means. If I move the fence a little bit closer here, you can tell that if I put it right here, that means I have to move my bed, move, move the campfire a little bit, and then, um, I probably have to move some of the tree stuff as well. So, uh, and that means I also have to move the chest. So let me get rid of this real quick so I can actually, uh, move the fences up. Uh, so that way I have a clear path of clearing things. So as long as I have it, I should be cool though. All right, so I think I'm gonna move it right here. Right next to the campfire. Uh, put it down, there you go, there you go. <laughs> it wouldn't put down for a split second, but hey, uh, here we go. Okay. And that also means I have to move this as well. I'll move that later. But um, as for this stuff, I'm actually gonna move now because I realized that uh, we only have like quite a few. So, um, um, I'll move it right here. And then um, what I'm gonna do is after my stuff gets done smelting, I'm gonna move my stuff back. All right, so let me uh, make my way back here real quick. Um, and I'm gonna keep this open because we're gonna need man. And I'm gonna make some uh, I'm gonna make some stone stairs so that way we have a little bit of um, manageable that needs to change. And it's almost done, so we don't have to worry about too much. There we go. Now, um, right now I need to actually clear out my inventory because I realize I have so much wood in my goddamn inventory. Same with the fences and the fence posts. So um, also the wood and. The coal can, the coal can stay with me. Um, I'm gonna actually have that with me. Um, take one stack and then move some other stuff here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, let's have that here, have that there, and then we should be clear. Now I'm gonna move my, um, I'm gonna move this now. Uh, oh, actually, I needed that. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not thinking straight right now. Shut up. All right. <laughs> My brain. My brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's uh, have this here. It's just going to be taking a... With this type of cave, just keep in mind that it takes a lot longer. So I would say the last time I had to deal with caves like this, it probably took me about a measly, I would say 32 Minecraft days, at least, at the least, because I wouldn't say say it took me that long to do it, like, I, I wouldn't say it took me that long to do it, like, I, I would be exaggerating if that would be the case, but, um, but, um, let's, actually, I need some more cobblestone, because the reason I need more cobble is because I need to make the stairs now, uh, because I realize, realize since I'm going to be up on this camp, I'm not going to be, um, going through that entire thing the entire time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab myself some cobblestone and uh, just hope that I can actually at least get something from it. What if I heard a drowned? Um, let's move this up a little. Um, so I got about a little bit more than I expected, but that should help, uh, at, least, at least like eight to make that easier for me. Uh, so let's do this real quick. Um, and I knew I need one more after that one. God damn it. Um, oh shit, I can't even go to the crafting table. <laughs> I am perplexed today. <laughs> I am perplexed today. <laughs> um, there we go. And that should work. Sweet. Now I need a f uh, fence gate. Uh, I need more sticks for the gate itself. Nice. There we go. Now we're set. We are perfectly set. Awesome. So. Um, now that we have the iron that we actually need, uh, we can actually start building the armor now. And, 
since we have enough to actually grab that armor and grab that armor, we are good to go uh, to head down there now. So, without a doubt, this is going to be probably one of the most craziest adventures I probably ever had to deal with. So, be prepared, ladies and gents, because this is going to this is going to get absolutely fucking extravagant. And th this dagger is almost the same damage as... I wonder if you can enchant them, because if you... Because I looked at some of them, and some of them are probably at the natural. If you can actually enchant them, that actually helps out very much. Because I, I think it would actually help us a lot at this point. Because at this very point, we actually do need, need a whole lot of stuff. And um, since I'm going to be going back down there for more iron, I'm going to probably going to have to grab a another set amount of sticks. So what I'm going to do is make more sticks. Uh, not too much. Uh, at least like almost a stack. And then a stack of torches. That'll work. Um, just to keep us on the safe side. Did I hear a drowned? Or is that just me? Please tell me I'm not the only person who just heard that. Uh, I guess I am. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> is this a game bug? <laughs> is this a game bug? And god damn, this, <laughs> this literally fucks up my vision. <laughs> oh, I know why! Oh, hold on. I just realized. Hang on, let me do this real quick. Cause if it's the, if it's something like, uh, oh, if it's not, oh, then what's the? Oh, oh, it's probably for the weapons itself. So that's why the shield looks so fucking wonky. That makes sense. <laughs> it looks so normal. <laughs> this is just <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to um realize that the shield is not gonna be useful when. Whenever we do things, because I realize that um, we can't even do do with, do with unless it's the other weapons and the other way around. Um, but I just didn't realize that that was gonna happen itself. That's just that's just crazy. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It doesn't even show up. Wow, that's stupid. And then when you when you go in the first person, it literally looks bigger than it should be. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so where's that one at? So we're gonna have to go over here. I'm gonna t take a production route here. I'm gonna take a production route. And what I'm gonna do here is is that uh, I'm gonna change and grab some uh, raw material, which I have is cobblestone, and go directly down. Now, I think what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna actually um, go down the water. Go down the water, down the water a bit further, and I'm gonna try and oh shit, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work. Ah, oh <laughs> crap, crap, no! <laughs> I, saw that I saw that zombie. Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> oh man, they wouldn't let me, let me climb over earlier. That is annoying. Okay, so now we're just taking the time to go through some iron and then hopefully we can just move from this and continue on now the fact that i heard the warden tells me that this is going to be probably one of the biggest mistakes in my life and i just saw that creeper so i'm going to also be very mindful of that goddamn creeper um considering that fact um so let's grab the iron <sighs> now just for people to know um, this is gonna be first content I'm gonna be doing on my channel, but um, because for this particular uh, project, I'm gonna give you guys some hints. This uh, project will provide a whole lot for people, and I think it'll help. And the reason it will is because um, it'll give a little bit of a um, spiteful, spiteful change to it. Nothing too serious to uh, like change the entire atmosphere and all that. Um, but it will have some uh, downsides to uh, the fact that I will have some criticisms that will benefit me, and I will have some criticisms that won't. And when I don't, it will it will change me a whole lot. So there's a spider right there. Ah, Jesus! Son of a bitch! 
Spider motherfucker, come here. Come here, bitch. Oh my goodness. That scared the hell out of me. All right, so um, let's head back down. Uh, I forgot there's a cow right there. What the hell? Oh, I apparently I was gonna gonna take damage regardless of that. All right, so let's head back down here. Just uh, there we go. So, um, so there's iron up there. I need to grab that actually. So let's do that. So um, a little bit bit of knowledge for uh, some of y'all who are just starting on uh, Minecraft. If you're just starting, um, just know that it is going to take almost at least a few months for you to literally like understand the uh, terrain, everything else. It's going to be beautiful, but once you um, get through everything, just remember not to um, set yourself up for failure and wait until nighttime to do shit, because if you do that, you'll end up um, dying immediately so just remember that and that's literally the first ever mistake that uh, people make and I guarantee some people will actually take this advice with a grain of salt but at the same time it'll help them at least cuz um, some of them some of them like to take first experiences and that's reasonable but and when it comes to this I just don't want want y'all to get upset once y'all die and lose everything so it's your call um, but uh, oh my goodness there is a there is a zombie villager here. Interesting. Good to know. There's that much out here. Um, and it gets bigger from up here. Good to know. Okay, so we're pretty clear by the looks of it. I think there's more out there, but um, let's just uh, grab this iron real quick. Then we got some dripstone, too. Something to, to actually actually provide ourselves with. Interesting. Ooh, I hear that motherfucker too. I hear you, you son of a bitch. <sighs> so, um, back to what I was saying. I'm sorry. So, the content is going to change a bit differently, obviously. But when you check a lot of the other um, videos, just know that um, there's going to be a lot of like a lot of people who are going to take like con constructive criticism, and it's going to be okay. Please do not worry yourselves, and don't protect me over anything, okay? Just come up with, just debate with them respectfully and don't call them names or anything like that because it, it's not beneficial. Unless they they don't know anything about hip hop itself. Mmm, take that back because I realize that's still mean. Give them the advice to always remember, be mindful of how things are, but also make sure that if they just don't listen to you, then you can, you can happily insult them because they'll, They'll take shit like a grain of salt and then immediately turn away from it. And then all they will do, and this is what I've noticed about like certain hip hop critics, they will literally take a grain of salt and then immediately put out one, by far one of the craziest things I've ever witnessed. Especially considering the fact that you have like almost a majority of other people who have and have given you the same beneficial. I thought there was a creeper right next to me. Good fucking Lord. All I'm here to say is don't insult them if they don't know what they're talking about. Happily give them the facts, and and if they're being very, very ignorant about it, you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want from there, okay? Simple as that. Um, and oh my god, we have almost like a ton of coal down this side. We have almost a ton of coal down this side, good lord. More iron here, here for the safety galore. Am I, I'm sorry, please tell me that is either the cave sounds or, or is that the warden? I'm not sure, man. That is creepy to me. Mother of God. Oh, again, I keep forgetting. I need to take off these damn cave sounds. <sighs> but anyway, let's head back up and uh, put everything uh, into the smelter. Uh, I'm going to worry about the copper later. 
I'm not gonna worry about it too much. At least not right now, because I re realize we're already grabbing so much right now. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, it's kind of being a bit of a smooth sailing. So until until that first episode that happened, that was just mad. I just couldn't believe my own goddamn eyes. Um, <laughs> That, scared, that literally like scared the shit out of me because I didn't think that it would um, it would come after me. Or sorry, I didn't think Enderman can teleport that fast. It it literally, I was perplexed in the fact that that even happened to me. So I was just surprised myself. But um, but yeah, it looks like uh, <laughs> they weren't kidding about the whole bug thing with the with the uh, with the uh, game with the uh, mod pack. So. I kind of figured they were going to be like this, and then that's fair enough. Um, but uh, anyways, let's head back down. Um, do we have enough torches? Yes, we do. I'm going to put those back on my end. And we're going to actually go down that uh, other cave. Uh, do we have an anything else much for the... No, we don't. Uh, let me... Right. It, it and the funny thing is, is that it, I'm just gonna try this for the rest of the episode, just to, just for the lols, because I realize that you can barely see through this. Like this really fucks up my vision completely. So I have to literally like look on one side of the other eye just to see what the hell I'm dealing with. God damn it! Um, but yeah, let me grab grab some more, and we will. Right. I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm gonna take these out and then I'm gonna go head down. This is just by far the craziest thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> it really is. Good lord. I'm gonna head down now, but um Oh uh, boy. Oh! Oh man! Oh, I knew that fucked me over. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna have to be super careful here now. Um oh boy. Hey, 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 hey! Ah! Yes, set off the traps, I don't you? Yikes. What he literally did was just to set off the damn traps. That's beyond me at that point. Up. <laughs> Hi, zombie. E oh, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Please tell me. Oh, it works. I had to be sure. Oh, it still works. Thank God. I think I had to put it in a di certain direction. <laughs> and there's a zombie right there too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nye! 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 Both of you! Both of you, Nye! Both of you, Nye! What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Mother of Jesus! Oh, that's a fucking village. Villager zombie. That scared the shit out of me. I keep forgetting this texture pack changes so much the goddamn villagers images on almost everything. It literally literally can be scary as hell. I need to keep that in mind sometimes. Good fucking lord. I hear the ah! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Piss off mate! Good lord. I knew it was gonna be another one in here. God damn it! No! Not another enderman! Come on! Ah, shit. Well. <sighs> yep. Oh, I'm already down here. Here, there's skeleton. Skeleton and a zombie. Huh. Kind of perplexed on how near this shit can be. Oh, God. Bitch. So far. Oh, fucker. Fucker, fuck. Bitch! 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 Sit your ass down. We got a ton of coal in here, by the way. Alright. We're at a decent start here for iron. We're at a decent start. Not gonna hold you, this is uh... <laughs> this is still crazy to me how this works. <laughs> the shield is... He's in front of me. <laughs> That's by far one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Oh man. I'm uh, 
grab this and head back up. Oh man, I am just, I'm, oh hell, oh hell, okay, uh, okay, so, my dumbass forgot, oh shit, no, 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 damn creeper, I knew it was gonna happen to me, piss off, piss off, you can die in the, f die in the fucking fire with the rest of them, die in the fucking fire with the rest of them, bitch, die in the fire with the rest of them, bitch, uh. No! No! Da, 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 da. Da. Son of a bitch. God damn it. No! Oh, what the f- Okay. Are they really all over the fucking place? Yes, they are. Okay. Um. Oh, I should have checked the goddamn clock when I, when I came back up. I didn't think they, they were still here. No! Oh, fuck! Oh, damn it! He's still there! When the fuck did you get back here? Okay. Yep, new. Move, you son of a bitch! Oh, okay, really? And he's actually around. I hate myself. <laughs> this is not good. Um. This flash. Didn't think this was gonna happen to me. Huh? D damn skeleton. You're it? You ain't gonna come after me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm right next to the water. That is not, not a good sign on my end. Not at all. Ah, fuck. No, no. Damn water. Fuck you. Huh. 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 Damn thing dropped. And he's still up there. Um. So I would be here all night. Um. I didn't think that this was going to happen to me. Uh. Not at all. You sons of bitches. I'm only hoping he comes down. Mmm, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. Um, here, take the consideration to use the strategy at once. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Note to self, never do that, especially when it comes to this survival, because I realize spawners have actually gotten a little bit more more insecure than I actually anticipated. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. I'm only hoping that Enderman doesn't come right by me because if he does, he is screwed. Um, nevertheless, let's make a little shelter here. Uh, Cause uh, while the rest of it is up there, I can still, I can still make the uh, stuff here, so. I don't need to worry too much. Let's keep it counterproductive here. So whenever you're in this situation, take note that the entirety of the fucking <sighs> mobs get almost immediately more immenseful than the ones in normal survival. <sighs> Make sure to keep that in mind. Uh, that's just not a good sign on my end. I just need to bait him though, which is kind of on my nerves because I gotta figure out how to bait him into coming in. Gotta figure out where he is though. Fuck. Jesus. You son of a bitch. I'm thinking, oh shit. Bitch. Fuck you. <sighs> okay. So I have all the iron I need right now. But I need to wait until fucking dawn to deal with this shit. Cause they're just gonna fucking shoot me down. And there's so many mobs right next, right next to camp. God damn it. And the fact that the Enderman is still there, fuck. I'm at a wit's end right now. Fuck! 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 I still don't like that! I do not like that! Nope! Fuck no! Fuck no! Hell no! Stay the fuck away from me! Ugh! 
Die, bitch! Run! Go near me. Go near me, Enderman. I swear to God you're gonna catch these hands, bitch. Nope. I heard that motherfucker right next to me. There is no way in hell. I do not like this shit, man. Um, there's gotta be another way to get... Don't you fucking dare, you piece of shit. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. There you. I am in a very complicated situation. Why is there two? Are you fucking serious? Why is there two? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I'm gonna have to check the sky real quick. It's getting day. Okay, it's getting day. We just need to get out of here with, without them noticing that we moved. But the only problem is they can't. La 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 Bitch! <laughs> Why the fuck are you? Bitch! Fuck you, you piece of shit! Fuck you, you fat fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you, you fat fuck! Fuck you! Catch his hands, bitch! That spider is way too close. Why is there still a creeper up there? Oh, I don't like this. You sons of bitches. Leave me alone. I have no quarrel with any of you. Just let me leave and I'll be fine. Okay. Um, there's a spider right there. I can get rid of him. And there's two? Why? There's about three of these motherfuckers. Come here, bitch. Wanna test me again? Come here. What's up? What's up, bitch? What's up, motherfuckers? Fuck you, you fat fucker. Okay. Okay. I need to hurry up and get back up now. I'm hoping that creeper is not that close. No. I managed to make it. Thank God. I managed to live for another day. Thank the fucking Lord. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Ooh. Checking for the... Oh, I didn't even put, the, put it in the wrong spot. Again, my, uh, my brain is not exactly the uh, best at this. Now, uh, I think it's about time we take a look at the selection of weaponry before we uh, cap off this episode. So, judging by the amount of stuff that we have, we should be able to have enough sticks for this. For the iron that we have, we should be able to have enough for the weapons that we're going to grab, which is right here. So, I'm trying to figure out which one is definitely suitable for my liking. Since we're going to be probably do hunting, I don't know exactly. Um, what I'm thinking is, though, um, since I'm a big dude, since I'm like that type of dude who, who's brolic like that, and we're going to, we're probably, I'm going to actually use that once we get to a village, but since I'm definitely going to need something that's a little bit more fancier to my liking, I'm going to run, I'm going to use a, I'm going to use this baby. And the reason I am is because it actually, actually helps out a little bit, so. And the, I don't know how much the katana does. I might have to actually take a look at the damage itself. But, um, uh, there might be something for the mod pack and what it actually does on the, web, on the website itself. But I need to take a look what exactly type of damage it does. But, um, anyways, um, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I, I hope you all enjoy this. This was a wild, wild episode. <laughs> this was a wild episode. Again, another wild episode from 
from the likes of it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. <sighs> this has been Zed, guys. Later.